have made it to Billings, Montana <coughs> for the Billings Short Course Race event today. Um, here, look at the track from way over here. In the uh, videos I've seen of it, it looked pretty big and not as big as we thought, but it's still pretty good size, nice and wide, nice up and downhill corners and whatnot. Be only thing closer than that that we ran is uh, plenty wood, so it should be fun. Um, looks to be really, <clears throat> looks probably going to be a little slick, but we'll see how it goes when we get there. Um, both cars just got checked in. Austin's up there getting water. And we're going to go get checked in and then kind of go from there and see you after probably hot laps. <laughs> We forgot to put the bolts on Austin, on Anthony's hood.
all that, all that for that. I don't know what's going on. Anthony's way down there, stuck on the berm. Austin's way over there. I don't know what's going on.
Um, <clears throat> Austin did good. He got second. As the other two guys, by other two, I mean me and, and Will, I decided to Berman and Will had to pull off. And yeah, and the hood came up. Forgot to put the pins on that. That was real smart. But now we're on to the heat. It's not the heat, it's the feature, and we'll see what happens. I'm also start in the front row, I'll start in the second row, and we can go from there.
quite a few days since the Billings race and we already have Austin's car in the garage up in the air because he and actually we already got a different transmission in it because he uh, broke the uh, bell housing on it completely in half which is pretty impressive as you can see so uh yeah, Dad said he, uh, in all his years of him racing, that he has never, never done that before. So uh, that was a complete first for him. Thankfully, we had one kind of laying in the weeds and didn't have little to no water in it. Well, it had a little water in it, but not much to be concerned about. And we kept the transmission. Uh, just for future so we can possibly uh, take the guts out of it and put it into another core that we have laying over there. One of the ones that we uh, tore up in uh, Dotson a few years ago. And uh, on my car, we still have the belt clear steering issue. Um, Me trying to drop you guys. Uh, gotta figure out what's going on with that. After I hit the berm, the belt came off. 
and then we thought it was a little bent and so we kind of bent it to where it was straight and perfect again and then ran the b main ran yeah ran the b main car did great uh besides it being extremely slick car did good uh had no issues power steering was there the whole whole time and then I had a good battle with Will for a couple of laps there. Before he caught the berm with his right front end, which spun him around. And then, uh, and then I uh, went into, I won the B main, went into the A main. And on the uh, start, me and Jason were side by side going into one. And, but before that, me and him just barely, I didn't mean barely, made contact. And I lost power steering. Again. So I went into turn one and spun out in front of the whole field, in front of Austin, of all people. <clears throat> and then I, I tried to run a couple laps with no power steering, but I just couldn't for whatever reason. And uh, plenty would. I lost power steering there and I could race just fine, but... I couldn't race at all in Billings without the power steering. It was it was either all or nothing. Because I guess the belt was kind of sort of on because it was flipped upside down. So it was catching and not catching. Yeah, yeah. And Austin, he uh, he lo he just passed for second, and then he uh, caught the just barely caught the well. I say barely. He hit the berm and busted his. That's when he busted the bell housing on his motor. So, a couple, couple bad lucks there, but it is what it is. We'll get both cars fixed. Uh, right now we're focused on Austin's because that's a uh, that's a kind of a bigger issue because transmission and all that because we got to shorten the drive shaft still, which ain't too big of a deal, but we're just hoping and praying that they're all the gears are in it because we don't know because it's an unknown transmission. Um, but I think we'll be okay. And then since we have the uh, transmission in the car now, I'm going to probably this weekend finally get my car back into the garage so we can look at the power steering and kind of go from there. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of our situation, what we're going to do. And like, uh, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends and family the video. And... Hope to see you in the next one.